Energy isn't just some crushable liquid in a can. It is literally a life force. Similar to your phone needing to charge, the cells that make up our bodies need energy to function. The big difference here is that you can actually live without your cell phone, believe it or not. We can't unplug and plug ourselves in. So it's important to understand how our bodies process the right amount of energy for running, working, dancing, or just mindlessly thumbing through kitten videos on social media. Energy production is a team sport. It involves coordination between multiple systems, including the nervous system, which monitors energy, the digestive system, which converts nutrients to energy, and the energy linchpin, the endocrine system, where a remarkable organ plays an important role in regulating our energy balance. You might have heard of this special organ, though you may not have an in-depth knowledge of what it does or just how crucial it is to help maintain your energy levels. This organ is your thyroid gland, the often overlooked and unsung hero within. So how do we recognize the thyroid gland? And what does it do? The thyroid is a butterfly-shaped endocrine gland that wraps around the windpipe in our throat and sits just below the voice box. Be honest, did you just feel your throat? Not only does the thyroid help maintain our energy levels through metabolism and keeps our organs functioning properly, but it is also essential for growth, development, and ultimately reproduction. The thyroid gland takes the mineral iodine found in foods and converts it into two major hormones that are released into the bloodstream through the body. And it helps manage our metabolism or energy use. These hormones are named triiodothyronine, also known as T3, and thyroxine, also known as T4. Together, they're called the thyroid hormone. Triiodothyronine, or T3, is four times stronger than its T4 counterpart and therefore packs a bit more of a punch. It's more active and more potent, makes up about 20% of the thyroid hormone, stays in the system for a shorter period of time than T4, and acts fast with shorter-term effects. Thyroxin, or T4, on the other hand, is less active and less potent. But don't let that fool you. T4 makes up approximately 80% of the thyroid hormone and stays in the system for a longer period of time than T3 and it acts more slowly than T3 with longer-term effects. In order to maintain an optimal level of thyroid hormones, your body has a signaling system that lets it know whether it needs to make more or less hormones at a given time. The signaling system is managed by the pituitary gland, a small little pea-sized nodule at the base of your brain that's controlled by the hypothalamus and helps us to sustain stability in the body systems and maintain homeostasis. Homeostasis optimizes the body for survival in changing conditions by balancing energy production and expenditure. It's super useful for things like regulating temperature. You can liken the feedback loop of energy control through the thyroid to a thermostat in that it regulates temperature when you feel hot or cold in your home, you might adjust the thermostat. Your energy levels are controlled in a similar way. Approximately 60% of the energy the body produces is heat that maintains your temperature. Thyroid hormones are like the heat in your home, and the thyroid is the heater connected to your thermostat or the feedback loop controlled by the pituitary gland and hypothalamus. When the level of thyroid hormones drops low, the hypothalamus produces TRH, thyrotropin-releasing hormones, which activates the dial on the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland then makes TSH, thyroid-stimulating hormone, which tells the thyroid to produce more hormones, raising the heat in our bodies. As you can see, the thyroid is essential to protecting our bodies with homeostasis. The balance of thyroid hormones is key to healthier functions throughout our bodies, in particular, Thyroid hormones assist with the optimal rate of energy use for healthy functions in our organs. So how do the amount of thyroid hormones affect our organs and keep you functioning properly? Thyroid hormones and the body. Let's start with the central command, the brain. 
Thyroid hormones influence our brain development and cognitive function, such as memory, learning, and concentrating by ensuring proper energy supply. Just think, without a little T3, it could be challenging to think as efficiently. Next, our organ impact list is your heart. The heart is very much influenced by the thyroid. Higher levels of thyroid hormones increase our heart rate, which leads to enhanced blood flow to organs throughout the body. Organs like our kidneys, where thyroid hormones increase blood flow and influence the kidney's function to ensure an ideal filtration of waste and the body's electrolyte balance for hydration and cell function. As for the liver, thyroid hormones affect the liver's ability to metabolize nutrients and detox the body. The liver also plays a big role in the conversion of T4 thyroid hormones to the more active T3 thyroid hormones. Let's not forget the biggest organ, our skin. Thyroid hormones help control the body's temperature and sweating. And now for our muscles. Just below the surface, you'll find thyroid hormones regulating the metabolic activity that helps muscles growth and function, supporting optimal muscle strength by balancing oxygen and energy with protein synthesis. Phew! Let's take a breath. And while we're on the subject, let's continue with our lungs and respiratory system. Our lungs use thyroid hormones to help control respiratory rate and ventilation, air circulating in and out of our lungs, and to regulate the ideal amount of oxygen needed for healthy breathing. Down below our lungs, you'll find our stomachs. Thyroid hormones impact our stomachs and intestines or digestive system. They influence the body's metabolic rate and gut motility regulating the speed of food digestion, potentially protecting from diarrhea caused by faster speeds of digestion and constipation caused by slower speeds of digestion, which is attributed to the amount of thyroid hormones produced. Now we're really going. On to the impact of thyroid hormones on our adrenal glands and endocrine system. Both the adrenal glands and the thyroid interact as part of the endocrine system, producing hormones like cortisol, aldosterone, and adrenaline to help our bodies respond to stress. Life can often include stress, so the balancing of these hormones is crucial. Finally, we have our reproductive system, including ovaries for women and testes for men. Thyroid hormones are essential for the normal development of the reproductive system and are closely linked to sex hormones. Imbalances in thyroid hormones can affect sex hormones, such as estrogen and testosterone. This can impact menstruation and fertility in women. In men, low testosterone can cause sexual dysfunction, along with many other problems. As you can probably see, a dysfunctional thyroid can disrupt many processes in the body by producing too many hormones or too few hormones, thereby improperly influencing the speed at which our body's chemical functions work. Abnormal levels of thyroid hormones can be a sign of a thyroid condition. Thyroid Conditions Thyroid disorders fall into two main categories, hyperthyroidism, an overactive thyroid that makes too many thyroid hormones, and hypothyroidism, an underactive thyroid that doesn't make enough thyroid hormones. The most common cause of hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism are both autoimmune disorders, Hashimoto's and Graves' disease respectively. Other conditions include inflammation of the thyroid, also known as thyroiditis, goiter, which is enlargement of the thyroid or development of lumps or nodules and thyroid cancer. Leaving thyroid conditions untreated can result in more complex conditions, such as thyroid eye disease, a progressive inflammatory disease that affects the muscles and soft tissue around the eyes, causing swelling and redness around the eyes that can damage vision, or thyroid storms, a potentially fatal condition caused by an excessive release of thyroid hormones. Symptoms. Hyperthyroidism affects approximately 1% of the population. When your thyroid gland is overactive, many processes in your body can speed up. Symptoms of hyperthyroidism include rapid heart rate, unexplained weight loss, increased appetite, an enlarged thyroid in your neck, more frequent bowel movements, intolerance to heat, and sleeping problems. Untreated, overactive thyroid conditions can result in dangerous conditions called a thyroid storm, which affects 0.22% of all people with elevated thyroid hormones. Though it's rare, the condition has a mortality rate 
of 8 to 25 percent. Symptoms of thyroid storm include rapid heart rate and high blood pressure, delirium, confusion, and loss of consciousness, high temperature or high fever, feeling anxious, agitated, or irritable, and jaundice, which is yellowing of the skin and eyes. Hypothyroidism affects nearly 5% of the population. When your thyroid is underactive, many processes in your body can slow down. Symptoms of hypothyroidism include fatigue, feeling cold, dry skin, forgetfulness, constipation, weight gain, muscle soreness, loss of interest in sex, lower voice, depression, and high cholesterol. Untreated hypothyroidism can enlarge the thyroid and cause heart problems, nerve damage, infertility, birth defects, or myxedema, a rare but potentially fatal condition. Learn more about how thyroid problems impact specific organs in the body and cause symptoms at the link in the description below. Causes of thyroid disease and treatment. An imbalance of thyroid hormones can be both the cause and the result of other conditions. Both hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism can be caused by inflammation of the thyroid, called thyroiditis. If pathogens like bacteria or viruses infect your thyroid, your immune system may cause inflammation when fighting them off. When your immune system is fighting your own body's functions, it's called an autoimmune disease. An autoimmune disorder called Graves' disease is the most common cause of hyperthyroidism. An oversupply of thyroid hormones and an autoimmune disease called Hashimoto's is the most common cause of hypothyroidism, an undersupply of thyroid hormones. But there are other reasons your thyroid may not produce the correct amount of hormones. Hyperthyroidism can happen when nodules grow on your thyroid and produce extra hormones. It can also happen if you consume too much iodine. Alternatively, hypothyroidism can develop when you don't get enough iodine in your diet. Hypothyroidism can be genetic, or it can happen when you don't get treatment for hyperthyroidism, as having an overactive thyroid that produces too many hormones can switch to becoming underactive due to the body's efforts to bring back balance. Hypothyroidism can also occur if your thyroid has been damaged by radiation, which you may have received as a treatment for cancer. The cause of thyroid cancer is unknown, but risk factors include genetics, radiation exposure, a diet low in iodine, or untreated thyroid conditions. Being treated with radiation can cause mutations in the genes in the thyroid gland, which can increase the risk of thyroid dysfunction. Another risk factor, along with not eating enough iodine, is carrying excess weight. In summary, most of the most common causes of thyroid disorders are autoimmune diseases, nutrient deficiency, complications of a condition that has gone untreated, or side effects of treatment. Understanding the impact of medications is important and potentially life-changing. Some prescribed medications that might impact the thyroid gland include proton pump inhibitors, PPIs, oral contraceptives and hormone replacement therapy, antiarrhythmics, glucocorticoids, anti-epileptics, checkpoint inhibitors, Wegovi, which may raise your risk for medullary thyroid cancer. To help you better understand the potential risks and benefits, read MedShadow's article guides on thyroid conditions and medication side effects. In any case, knowing how to maintain a healthy thyroid can help prevent many complications and potentially save your life when helping you steer yourself from dependency on prescribed drugs. So how can you help protect yourself and maintain a healthier thyroid? Getting good nutrition with a balanced diet, proper exercise, and stress management. Understanding your family's medical history, visiting the doctor and taking thyroid tests periodically to measure hormone levels and track the presence of antibodies, and being aware of treatment options and understanding the risks and benefits of medicines. Visit MedShadow.org in the link below to learn more about medicines, their potential side effects, and proper nutrition on foods to eat and avoid for better thyroid health. As a sneak peek at better eating for your thyroid, avoid excessive alcohol processed foods, high sodium, high sugar foods and caffeine, and foods high in estrogens such as soy, which can disrupt hormone balance. Prioritize a balanced diet for better thyroid health by eating healthier whole foods that consist of highly nutritious vegetables, healthy fats, and low sugar fruits. Be sure to get enough potassium and antioxidants for kidney health. 
biotin, selenium, and vitamins A, C, and E for skin health. Foods rich in selenium, zinc, vitamin B6, and omega-3 fatty acids for brain health. Fiber and probiotics to promote digestive health. Foods that are protein rich, high in magnesium and vitamin D for muscle health. And iron, vitamin E, selenium, and zinc for reproductive health. To download a more detailed guide to foods based on hyperthyroidism and hyperthyroidism, visit the link below. MedShadow helps protect our health, our family, and ourselves from medical harm, including the side effects of medication, by providing informative videos like this. Like, share, and subscribe for more health videos. Learn more about symptoms, conditions, and side effects at MedShadow.org.